Hey folks, Internet Dude here again. I know it's been a while since I did a video, but I uh, thought I'd give you an update on the AMC Eagle project. So since the last time you got an update on the Eagle, uh, I had a mechanic friend replace the gas tank because the existing one was rusting out. I got the one out of the parts car and cleaned it up. Uh, I also replaced some brake lines. I've got to replace the master cylinder. I know it's not uh, performing real well. I uh, also had to do some rear brakes and he changed a couple of seals. So he helped me out there because I was kind of running out of time with uh, winter arriving. In the shop, uh, it's pretty much winter, but uh, got the Mustang here. We've got the red Comanche. Got another white Comanche over there you guys haven't seen, you don't know about. But uh, just specifically, the thing I've been working on most recently here uh, regarding the Eagle is the uh, emissions lines, the vacuum lines under the hood. This car is pretty much stock, but uh, if you've ever had an old like 80s car when they were kind of in between uh, carburation and fuel injection and the emission standards were, were getting tighter, um, it becomes a bit of a hot mess under the hood. So let's take a look. So as you can see, I've obviously got the air cleaner off here, but just take a look at the amount of emissions hoses they got here. So that's the EVAP canister. There's a variety of lines coming off of that. There's lines going into the carburetor, into the Solvac module, uh, this thing's called. Uh, we got lines running across the valve cover. There's, a, I think it's a solenoid back there, at the top of the valve cover, more lines back there. Some of them go to the HVAC and the four-wheel drive. There's another um, kind of a T off the back of the manifold. Some of these lines go across to that canister back there, which is, uh, it's just a reservoir. And uh, some of that goes down to the cruise control. Some of it goes down here. There's actually these uh, four-inch vacuum and 10-inch vacuum switches there. There's some that go down to the, uh, to the distributor. So there's quite a hot mess of, of uh, hoses that need to be replaced. There's a couple I couldn't replace, like this bigger one here that go from the canister up to the carb, and then there's one that goes from the PCV valve, which is here, runs back there. So there's just one size I didn't have, but I just wanted to put this into perspective if you haven't uh, worked on an old car like this. Uh, take a look over here. This is what I changed out. That is a lot of, a lot of different hoses and uh, you know it's a little bit of time to trace them all try and get them in the right spot uh, and they're different sizes as well if you take a look under the hood this is the best place to take a look right back here they have one diagram on uh, the routing of the hoses but that's only slightly helpful because it doesn't include the cruise control ones and, and stuff like that so what I wound up doing is I just wound up buying some spools of vacuum hose. We have 7 uh, I believe, uh, then I believe 5 30 seconds, and I think 7 30 seconds. I will verify the, um, the sizes and put it in the description. But I bought three spools of hose off of Amazon because I thought, well, I have no idea how much I'm going to go through. So uh, realistically, the, the bit bigger hose here, I probably didn't need to buy a spool, but you know, I'm, I've always got different projects I'm working on. And the other sizes, uh, realistically, like for the cost of some of this stuff, it's, it's not that bad to buy it from uh, Amazon, buy a spool. So that's kind of what I've been up to. Um, just replacing those vacuum hoses, trying to get the thing running right uh, in time for winter. Like I said, I'm going to replace the master cylinder. I know the seals aren't uh, perfect inside. This pedal feel isn't 100%. Uh, and then the only other thing that's really kind of pressing is I want to rebuild the carburetor. It doesn't run super awesome in winter, so that will be uh, coming up real so real soon. So that's just a quick update on kind of what's going on with the Eagle project. As you can tell, I get four vehicles in the shop, and I'm working on other things, but. One other thing that I'm considering is doing something with this wood grain decal. I know I'd put out that video earlier this year, but uh, I'm finding it is starting to break down a little bit. So the 303 wasn't real perfect. It's 
kind of deteriorating it a bit more from sitting in the sun. I really didn't drive the car during the summer, so I got another idea for uh, preserving that wood grain decal. But there's your update. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about the project, uh, just leave me a comment below. Otherwise, hit that thumbs up, and uh, thanks for watching.